Yo ho, yo ho, a lobster life for me. Hey, welcome back. It's me, Isocitration here, playing Solid Oracle of Seasons. Last time we got this, this Rod of Seasons, and this time we are gonna go over to the east here, to the Tower of Winter that is purple because everyone knows that winter is purple. That's the color of winter, purple. And here we're gonna use a boomerang that we have now acquired from the Sabrosian Dance to create this path by hitting this switch that turns red and blue when you hit it. Now go up the stairs through a suspicious hallway with torches or something and the walls that have lights that lights the world and now we are in a special place. Oh my blue fairy encircle me sparkles. Thank you for coming child of the crested hand. The spirit of winter has been waiting for you. Din is our dear friend. Now let me bestow the power of the spirit of winter on the rod you hold. When you swing the rod from atop a stump, the seasons shall change. In winter, the waters freeze and the snows pile up. Visit the other three spirits too. Please hurry to Din's aid. Whoosh! Yeah! The rod of seasons has been blessed with a wintry chill. Climb atop a stump to call forth winter. And that is the purpose of stumps. Hello. I talk to the statue. Please hurry to Din's aid. What a point full explanation. Back downstairs. Back across the lava river because it's boiling. And now we receive a mental message via the Maku tree. So the item was actually the Rod of Seasons. New Rose was surely open with its power. I dreamt of woods in the east. There may be an essence there. I so can you go for me? Of course, tree that is immobile because of its roots and or plants can't actually move. I will go explore this deathly cavern for you. Risk my life, save an essence. And what exactly will these essences do anyway? I totally forgot the plot. How are you, laborer? How you doing? Ah, oh, you're the singing dude. Digging around for ore chunks, got more ore chunks. All right, these 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 trees. They look kind of like the trees from A Link to the Past, with their little Octorok faces there. Not sure if it's actually faces, but but but. Well, there are some that can talk. Into the portal, out of the portal. Back to wintry wonderland here. Hooray! And, ooh, it's this dude again. That's it! Mm -hmm. You have the Rod of Seasons! If that Rod of Seasons held the powers of the season spirits, you could change the seasons! How many times do you say seasons in that sense? But I see it only has the power of winter. Hmm, swing the rod from atop that stump. Its power would be unleashed. Do you understand? Yes! If the Temple of Seasons has sunk into some land called Sabrosia, there must be other entrances to the Sabrosian land. You must find them. Perhaps you'll even go to the Temple of Seasons again. So we part. This guy is weird. Anyway, go on top of a stump. Use the Rod of Seasons. And the seasons will change based on what season is in the Rod of Seasons. How many times can you say season? I don't know. But anyway, winter obviously freezes the water. And now we can go to the winter forest in the east. Kill the moblin, get the money. Yeah, and the Rod of Seasons is a pretty ineffective weapon. But, yeah, it's just kind of there. Heal me, woman. Oh, I'm already healed. Wow, I didn't even realize that. Little rocks in the water blocking the path. That should probably exist. Uh, I guess I'll just keep the Rod of Seasons out. Okay, now here, here's a tree. It's very dead looking. And, but, it's important that you're in winter because otherwise during its other stages in the year or whatever, and fall and whatever, it's a full tree. So you can't go through there unless it's winter. And that's is a like like it will eat your shield it, it eats you and ha fawn hole now 
this wall here looks very suspicious. So let's blow up this wall, exposing the wall within with a wall. A very bush-filled, pit-filled, ground-filled room with a treasure chest with 30 rupees. That is so nice, awesome. Now let's escape this tragedy. Outside again, let's go down here, see what's going up in the haps and around here, yo. And it's... it's nothing that I can get to at the moment. So let's just continue to the east here. Go in a cave because why not? Sunken Falls. Headwaters in Sunken City. Sunken City. That sounds sunken. Alright. So here's nothing of interest, I guess. Can't get over there yet. Can't swim. It hurts you, in fact. So that's pretty detrimental, I must say. So what's up here, guys? What is the haps with yous? Uh, okay. Interesting. What do you say? Hearth fires are best on chilly days. Chimney sweep wanted. Hmm. Locked door. Now, ordinarily, you couldn't get in there. But since we have the Rod of Seasons, we can change the season to winter. And now, this tree is dead. Good job, you killed a tree. Now, we can go over here. Now there's a snow pile that we can walk on. And, oh my god, chimney! Fall down chimney! Santa's here! Hey, what's up? Ah! You startled me! Winter sets in all of a sudden! Then down my chimney comes! You're no chimney sweep! You don't scare me! Now take this shovel and clear the snow from my walkway! Keep the shovel when you're done! You got the shovel! Now start digging! Slave driver. Now we got the shovel. Now we can dig. Because digging is good for the economy. It can create holes, which can be filled by workers, which creates jobs. That is why it is beneficial to our society as a whole. Let's go down south here. Of course, now fall again for some reason. These seasons are just changing all willy nilly. Curse you, um, Onox, yeah. Digging holes and digging leaves. It's basically. A a rake too. Yeah, if you dig, sometimes enemies will come out. Now let's burn these little, little, little trees. And there's a secret passage there. Impressive. Let's go down. After I collect this little rupee here. Hello, Mr. Generous Old Man. What will you give me? I thank you for paying to fix my door. Oh, he stole 50 rupees because I broke his tree door thing. Jerk. Don't do it again. <laughs> Jerk. Moving on. Going down south. Well, I suppose I could show what happens when you burn an enemy. You get lit on fire. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Yay. And we can't get this because this rock is too heavy. We cannot push it aside, unfortunately. I guess we're just never going to get it. Unless we freeze the water. Yeah, now we can get it right wrong. Not all water freezes, apparently. And even some cracked water here. And yeah, because that's cracked water, of course, not cracked ice. I mean, what sense does that make in the world? I mean, yeah, really. So here we go, over here. More moblins, killing them. Not doing anything with the Rod of Seasons, because it's absolutely useless for killing. But that's pretty typical in this world. Uh, just kind of backtracked a little, unfortunately. Not so much, actually. We had to get the shovel to get through here. Which I will show as soon as I can get over here. And what do we have here? A new type of tree with new seeds, perhaps? You got mystery seeds. What they do is a mystery. Try them on many things. Open your seed satchel to use them. So now we have mystery seeds. We have a new seed type, which we can use on this statue, and he talks to us. Do not forget to give me mystery seeds. And that's, he's like a hitman there. Just like the owls and pretty much every game. Okay, you can use mystery seeds on enemies. It does random effects that can burn, etc. Freeze. And I guess we'll go top this stump here. Change the seasons to something more tolerable for my skin. Okay, we can go down here into this little cave now. 
which has a fairy in it. But there's a cave over there that has a treasure chest and an S on a metal thing. Hmm. Suspicious! And rock mushrooms that we cannot get yet. Oh, and what is this? Could this be the next area we are going to? In fact, I think it is. But we will be going there next time. So until then, I will see you later. Enjoy the rest of your day. And have a nice cup of coffee. Bye.